Okay, hi guys, I am here with two legends of arm wrestling, John Brzezink and Denis Plenkov. So, how are you guys? Doing great. How are you Super. <laughs> so, first question, John, how is your health? Everybody's been slightly concerned of how you are, so let us know. Um, I've been battling uh, the aftermath of uh, COVID. I had, uh, I was diagnosed with COVID a week before Christmas and um, I thought all was well and it kind of progressed into my lungs and I've been dealing with it uh, for the last couple months and it's finally like this last week is it, it's finally uh, dissipated enough where I'm able to breathe without coughing so um, I hope I'm on the last the last of it but other than that I'm uh, I'm good. I, my energy levels back. Um, I had brain fog for a while. Um, that's finally gone away. So, uh, yeah, much better than I have been in the last couple of months. So it was a slight surprise that uh, you lost to Arakli, but were you actually sick at that point during that match? Um, yeah, I had the brain fog. I was just mentally out of it. Um, physically, I don't know if it would have mattered, um, but. Yeah, I was completely exhausted. I, I, I used every last little bit of energy and oxygen I had left in my body to, uh, to compete against Arakli. And uh, yeah, as, as you know, I ran out of gas. And uh, um, yeah, I don't know if it was a breathing problem, but definitely a lack of oxygen. After that last match, I felt faint. I was like, I need somebody to come here and, get, and catch me before I fall over. <laughs> okay, so you're in better health. For this match, I'm, I'm in much better uh, respiratory health than I was. Yeah. Very pleased to hear it. Yeah. And same question to Dennis. How has his health been since he's back training hard, feeling good? Uh, Denis, how's your health now since you came back to training? Well, it's normal. 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 It's it is more or less okay in general, uh, but due to my age, I'm already doing everything more carefully and uh, doing checkups pretty often with the doctors. And for a combat match after four years of not competing, John Rezink is a very, very tough match. Why did Dennis choose this match and not maybe an easier just comeback? Как для возвращения после такого длинного перерыва в четыре года, почему ты выбрал именно Джона как соперника такого непростого, опытного и сложного? Я уже говорил то, что меня, ну, скажем так, организаторы там выставили список и Ну, я так посчитал, то, что с Джоном мне будет, будет в первую очередь побороться ну, поприятнее, все-таки он и полегче, и, наверное, ну, выступает Джон, который мне предложили. Я просто не сомневаюсь, что он даст бой, и я его опасаюсь в любом случае. Я просто не знаю, где я нахожусь, на каком этапе. Я выбирал из тех... Uh, as I told before, uh, I was giving a list of potential opponents and John was one of them. And uh, from the list, uh, I considered that John, uh, I will be first of all pleased myself to uh, compete with John, uh, but also John was uh, easier in the weight class. Uh, so for me, than uh, some other top heavy guys for me. So. This is why, this is the reason. John, on that, do you feel that Dennis maybe is underestimating you? Um, I hope so. <laughs> uh, I hope he's not so, so well prepared that he just you know, mows me down. But um, yeah, no, I, I'm very appreciative that he, that he held me in such high regard to uh, even allow me to uh, be his first match for his comeback. Um, super excited. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm uh, a little above even the middle of the pack as far as, you know, I think maybe there's a dozen arm wrestlers that are possibly better choices or tougher opponents for Dennis. But um, no, I'm, I'm excited and thrilled to, uh, to allow him to, to test his, his uh, comeback skills against me. As the training has evolved and we've seen Dennis training, Farron has 
have really started to say that Dennis is an absolute huge favourite now in this match. Do you agree with that or do you think fans have got it wrong generally because we've got no matches to go on with Dennis, we've just got some training footage and right. it's possible that he's been overhyped. Right. Do you think that's the case? Do you think it's fair that he's this huge favourite against you, the greatest of all time? It's hard to say. I mean, I think, I think even if he's not uh, physically in his top shape and, you know, his, the size uh, and the weight training, I think the, the tendons and the ligaments and the, and the, and the joints and the structure that, he, that he's had built the last 20 years is still going to be there. So I, I, I suspect that he's probably very close to um, his full arm wrestling ability, strength as far as arm wrestling goes. So I'm not expecting anything less. Do I still think I'm a huge underdog? No. <laughs> I think even when he was at his best in my current condition, um, I think I'm a, you know, a dangerous opponent for him. I think I have, uh, I, I have chances, so we'll see. And the same question to Dennis. Fans have made him a huge favorite and in the betting too. Does he see himself as a huge favorite? Or how does he see his chances? Денис фанат, и сейчас э, в интернете происходит такой хайп вокруг тебя, и ты э, в нем проявляешься как э, абсолютный фаворит. Э, как ты сам оцениваешь свои возможности, свое состояние? Согласен ли ты с этим? Я уже сто раз сказал, я не понимаю, где я нахожусь. Сейчас вот будет за четыре года первый файт, где можно будет разобраться вообще, где я нахожусь, да? И я как бы Джона в любом случае опасаюсь, он последний армфайт, если бы он не выступал, там он после вот армфайта выступал, проявил себя довольно-таки достойно, да, выиграл, дал всем бой. То есть как бы, и это лидеры, лидеры на сегодняшний день, ребята, да, там, ну, средний вес, но это лидеры. Это Уже лидеры. после ну, истории. Вот, Адрагалия, Петренко, Ираклия. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. То есть ну, все серьезные ребята, mm -hmm. и он как бы со всеми достойно бороться. И, конечно, 50 на 50, вот так вот рассматриваю. Фанаты, понимаешь, фанаты, даже если ты будешь mm -hmm. не готов, все равно они будут за тебя топить всегда. Это как бы нормальное явление. Так что тут, если смотреть реально, реально, то вот. As I said already for hundreds of times, uh, I don't know myself due to this huge gap of four years, no, not uh, participating in any, not having any arm fights. Uh, this will show us. Uh, and uh, I also consider John as a very dangerous opponent uh, because you can see properly during the East-West uh, competitions, how he arm wrestles. Kader Gali, uh, Iraq Lee, uh, Petrenko, all these guys are on top level. They are very serious opponents and they are uh, almost equally in strength. So, yeah, this match will show everything for me and for me also it will give a vision where I am. And uh, fans are always the fans. Even if you will be not ready f at all, they will be uh, going for you, shouting, like, and you understand. And has Dennis changed his style a lot from when he was last pulling four years ago? He looks to be in training more of a defensive puller these days. Is that correct, or is he just showing us what he wants to? Денис, вот говоря о твоем стиле борьбы, скажи, пожалуйста, он как-нибудь изменился за вот это время? Потому что, когда мы смотрим видео тренировок, кажется больше, что ты борешься вторым планом, вторым номером, больше защищаешься. Так ли это теперь? Это ли твой стайл теперь, стиль? Или у тебя какие-то есть козыри ну, в рукаве? Скажем так, я на тренировке никогда не ищу легких путей. Вот и все. Поэтому этого ответа будет достаточно. Я на тренировке тренируюсь. Я mm -hmm. пытаюсь там кого-то победить или выиграть. Моя задача загрузиться на максимум, прибавить где-то там выносливость. Или, ну, то есть, тем более это арфайта. Mm -hmm. То есть, вот задача как бы, максимально себе усложнять тренировочный процесс. 
При том, если там кто-то локти поднимает, там съезжает, я на это вообще внимания не обращаю. Чем тяжелее, тем лучше для меня. Mm -hmm. Вот и все. Это вот моя такая вот. И терпение, труд, все перетрут. Вот и все. То есть, вот, как-то так. Окей. This is what I can say. I'm not looking for easy ways on during the training sessions. I'm always giving my uh, sparring partners to work as they like, uh, fast, uh, intentionally, uh, like whatever. I don't care about uh, lifting elbows or everything. It's better when I feel I'm trying to uh, make it as difficult as it can be for myself to increase my endurance and this is what I'm training for, especially we're having an arm fight. So endurance is a key thing for that. So, yeah. John, is there a different feeling for you going up against Dennis, perhaps, as opposed to opponents that you've been facing more recently, given your history and the two of you are considered legends of the sport, certainly in the top few of all time? Does this feel different for you? Do you have to compare mentally different? Um, I, you know, I have to go back, I guess, 15 years to try to remember what it felt like to uh, grip up with Dennis. Um, I'm more excited than anything. Um, is my approach been any different? No. I mean, I, I, you know, do what I do and, you know, I try to adjust when I get up there and, and, and feel what I feel. Um, yeah, I know, I know Dennis is going to be a big challenge. I mean, he's very intimidating, but I've been intimidated by him before and come down, come came out victorious, so uh, I, I can't let that mess with me mentally. Um, I, I think I, you know, I match up well. I, I used to match up well with Dennis. Uh, it's a shame that we didn't get an arm wrestle sooner uh, than this, but um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a blessing that at this point in my life, I'm able to give it one more shot against him, so. In your mind, maybe you don't want to say what that is, but do you see a lane that you feel like is a weakness in terms of Dennis' stand? Well, the, 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 you know, the way I would approach him in the past was to, to take him out of position with the, you know, the hand position. But watching him practice, I noticed that he does have a very good lock and almost like a, a back pressure Kings move. So I, I'm almost suspecting that he's kind of comfortable in that spot. Um, and I haven't really seen him pull too much um, in training uh, wrist to wrist in a hook. And most people would think and laugh and think that's suicide for me, but I think it might be a possible lane. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm actually hoping that that's a, it's a something that I can actually test uh, on Saturday. Okay. Um, for Dennis, after being out for so long, does he have nerves this time coming into this match? How is he actually feeling? Is he unsure of what's going to happen or is he feeling confident? Uh, ты уже давно не выступал, и у тебя был длинный промежуток. Что ты чувствуешь вообще в эмоциональном плане? Как ты нервничаешь или не да, особо? Да, есть такое, да, я вот отметил то, что я переживаю. Потому что, то есть, если тогда я уже как-то опыта набрался и мне было все равно, то сейчас как-то да, есть такое, знаешь, недоумение. Вот это вот боязнь стола, вот это уже всего. Yeah, yeah. This can uh, sound and look funny, but yes, it's true. I'm overcoming uh, some nervous uh, stuff in my head because after four years, I have this kind of uh, fear of the table. Like you know, people are having fear of scene sometimes. So this is kind of the same thing. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be challenging for me in that case. John, you have some experience of this, of taking time out and coming back in. From your experience, is it difficult to step back into the sport at the beginning? Do you think that could be an issue for Dennis? Yeah, of course. Of course it's going to be. I, I, you know, I, I think back to my first match with Chance uh, Shaw. Um, it's been, it'd been so long that, that I'd been in that situation with that intensive competition. Um, my heart was racing actually <laughs> for the match and after the match so I couldn't get enough oxygen. Uh, so yeah, no, it's a, it's definitely a progression to get used to that, that, that situation, that atmosphere. Um, but I, I'm sure he'll do fine. He's, he's used to it. And for Dennis now, has he given himself a time frame of how long he wants to be 
back in the sport or he's just going to keep going while he feels good? Mm -hmm. uh, Денис, еще раз скажи, пожалуйста, о своем видении в будущем. Как ты думаешь, что будет происходить после этого э, суперматча? Какие у тебя планы на следующий год или на следующие несколько лет? Нет, я сказал, что все будет постепенно. Каждый поединок он будет, скажем так, анализироваться и в дальнейшем приниматься уже решение следующего поединка. Но так как я там запланировал все-таки год полтора, полтора года потратить на достижение своего пика, я думаю, как бы там еще следующий, как бы какой бы исход сейчас не был, как бы следующий там, в любом случае через полгода, там, ну в этом году я подарюсь с кем-то, да, там, ну в планах вот с Дэваном, а там, как, как говорится, как Бог даст. Yeah. Uh... Of course, uh, I will be analyzing after, uh, everything should go step by step. After this match, I will be analyzing this super match, um, how I feel, how are, how, what is my condition. Then, yes, of course, I have a plan, uh, as I agreed with organization, to have a couple of super matches during this year and a half uh, period of Dennis, uh, of my coming back uh, to my peak shape. So. We will see, uh, but yeah, I have a plan to arm wrestle uh, Devon Larratt in uh, in half of the year and the next one. And this is a difficult question to answer, but right now, where does Dennis see his level compared to his peak? Mm -hmm. uh, Сложный вопрос, я понимаю, но как ты думаешь сейчас, насколько ты далеко от своей пиковой формы? Ну, ну, по весам смотрю 20-25 процентов. И так получилось, не знаю почему, что вот этот месяц, который я в Дубае, готовился, конечно, он ничего мне особо не принес. По рабочим весам ты имеешь в виду? Да, по рабочим mm -hmm. весам, потому что я ну, такие делал, так теперь и делал. Может быть, там по выносливости что-то добавил, да? Mm -hmm. Мне не там, ну, я дома не буду готовиться. Mm -hmm. Так тут тоже есть обстоятельства. Mm -hmm. Ну, вот 25 процентов до пика у меня последние моменты тяжело даются, конечно. Потому что надо режимить и режимить. Это дома я так Теперь я еще более уверен, что дома я дом для меня дома тренироваться мне меня лучше, чем где-то на выезде. Considering my working weights, I am I still have a lack of 25 to 30 percent. Uh, I used to lift more, and this is the only thing I can judge for now. Uh, as for me, uh, during this month, which I tried to uh, train in Dubai, uh, it didn't give me much in uh, lifting weights, so they are, uh, they are the same. Uh, endurance, maybe a little bit better than it uh, was, but uh, yeah. This time I totally understood for 100% that for me, in my case, it is better to get ready to the arm fight at home. So at home when I can have a right schedule, regime, right, uh, is better at home. Не с кем время проводить. Бывает целый день, сидит в гостинице, и ну, спортсмены меня поймут, ну, ты горишь, mm. ты вот думаешь, то есть это ну, ненормально для меня. Mm. Там же дома я нахожу себе каждый день занятия, у меня там друзья, работа, да, то есть ты отвлекаешься от этого всего. Это вот основное, что мне вот это вот, я сейчас определю, то, что вот мне этого не хватает. Mm. Uh, the big, big thing I miss here while I'm training in Dubai is uh, is that I miss my job, my friends, uh, and uh, this all changed into thoughts in your head. When you have nothing to do, you're sitting in a hotel room, uh, yeah, yeah, you're training, but you're not doing anything else. And this big part of everyday life uh, is in your head. So, and this is what uh, makes make you exhausting at, at some point. And last question. There's a huge match on this card also, Levon versus Hermes. 
what chance does Armies have and what's he got to do to have a chance in this match? Yeah, I'm rooting for the underdog. Um, I'm rooting for Armies. I, I wish him the best. I wish him well. Um, a huge challenge, right? I mean, Levon is just uh, seemingly on another level. Um, his cupping ability to shut people down, especially good top rollers, is, is, is well known. Uh, do I think Hermes has a chance? I think he's possibly, ha well, obviously has the best chance on the planet right now to, you know, to get outside of that, that cup, that, that awesome cupping ability that Levon has. Uh, will it be enough? We'll see. I mean, I think it's going to be a lot to do with maybe not so much strength, but setup, speed, and the direction Hermes goes. Um, if Hermes can get Levon's hand flat, uh, I think he's going to probably have the arm strength to, you know, make it a good match. So, excited to see it. Yeah. And same question to Dennis. What chance does he give Hermes? Последний вопрос о другом поединке между Ливаном и Эрмес. Эрмесом. Как ты думаешь, какие шансы у Эрмеса? Думаю, то, что Ливан выиграет, конечно. Но хотелось бы, конечно, что-то Эрмес. Тут именно, знаешь, как бы я с собой Ливаю, ну, с собой не общаюсь, мне никому нет негатива. И, ну, тут как бы, знаешь, что тут маленький, а тут большой. Ты просто как бы болеешь за маленькое, да, чтобы он хотя бы что-то у него получилось делать. Вот так вот. Ну, так поинтереснее, да, когда ты болеешь за более слабого. Uh, well, in my opinion, of course, Levan, but uh, I still, I uh, know them both well, uh, and, uh, but it would be interesting for me, and I wish that uh, Hermes won, but yeah, it is always... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as as we as we have uh, bets, uh, he has uh, he. Um, I I want to say that I think that Levan will win, but I will uh, bet on Hermes. <laughs> okay, guys, I think that wraps up the interview. <laughs> yeah, and nobody is uh, nobody will be uh, sad about my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just want to say we're very, very excited to have you guys here at King of the Table 6. I think for the fans that buy the pay-per-view, this is a match that they can say they watch live, a historic match that I'm sure people will talk about in years to come. So it's a great privilege to have you both here. I'm very glad to see, John, that you're now in better health again. And of course, Dennis, after all this time, we're very pleased to see your health too. Very good. So. We just wish you both the best of luck. May the best man win. Arm wrestling wins. And if you want to shake hands. Thank you, sir. Shake hands. Yes, very good luck. Good luck. <laughs>